You know what, it's no secret that a lot of hard work and effort goes into making these videos to tell you all about our BioBidet products. And I'm not afraid to get a little dirty to tell you all about it. Today's Tell Me About is on our BB600. Sit right there, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Greetings BioBidet fans, this is Alan, your media and marketing executive, coming at you with another Tell Me About. Today's Tell Me About is all on our BB600, our electric unit with side panel. So this is our BB600. As you can see, a lot bigger and bulkier than our non-electric units because, well, hey, there's a heck of a lot more going on under the hood of this baby. Like some of our other units, it's going to have a side panel. That's where all the magic happens. All of your various functions and buttons occur over here. I'm not going to go into too much about those. You're going to find those in the operation manual. So this is the BB600 fully installed right here. It's going to have a heated seat, heated water, occupancy sensor built into the seat, intuitive side control panel, and as always, a slow close seat and lid. Very, very stylish. Here's a close-up of the side panel if you were looking down. To use, you have the stop button up front, posterior, and the frontal feminine wash. In order to select some of the more fancier features like pulse and massage, you select your spray first, then the spray option, like pulsation or massage. Your additional buttons up here are for seat temperature, water temperature, nozzle position, and a certain kind of spray pattern. And lastly, your button up here is your economy mode. Your BB600 is going to come included with a catch plate. This is going to be installed onto your toilet base, and then you're going to slide your BB600 and click it onto place here. The two metal catch plates and the two plastic bolts to secure the catch plate to your toilet base are going to be very similar to the ones that we've used in the past with other bidet models. To install, simply take your catch plate, place it on your toilet base. Take the plastic bolts, slide them through the metal brackets, and slide them onto the catch plate. One and two, right here. You will notice that you should still be able to slide the catch plate back and forward if the bars are installed correctly. Here is your locking nut and your cone-shaped washer. Make sure your cone-shaped washer is facing upwards as you place it onto the plastic bolt. Then take your plastic locking nut and twist that into place to secure the catch plate. Last but not least, slide your BB600 onto place and onto the catch plate. Now I've done some warm water bidets in the past and every single one of them would come with two different T adapters, one to connect to your cold, the other to attach to your hot. With our electric models, you only need to hook them up to a cold water supply because there is an onboard heater to warm up the water for you. The BB600 is going to come with not one, but two different supply lines. The difference between them is one has a 7 8 head on it. This is going to be securing to the bottom of your toilet fill valve, and the other is going to be coming directly from the T-adapter, go to your bidet. The BB600's installation hardware is going to come with some slightly newer pieces. It's going to include not only your T-adapter, but also an L-adapter. This L-adapter is basically just an elbow. This is going to secure directly onto the inlet of the bidet itself to make it so your supply line leading to it is nice and tight to the side of your toilet. The T-adapter is going to have a half-inch pipe thread on the end that secures to your water shutoff valve. It will also come with a 3 8 conversion nut as well in order to secure it to a 3 8 compression thread. Once you have all your water connections secured to the bidet, you can go ahead and plug your bidet in. You will notice that the power cord for the BB600 comes directly out of the rear center of the bidet, and there's a small channel leading along the back end. This will allow you to put the power cord to the right or left-hand side of the bidet, depending on which side of your bathroom your outlet's on. Some basic troubleshooting for the BB600 is if the nozzles are leaking or the inlet is leaking at all, we suggest unplugging the unit first, shutting off your water supply line, and disconnecting all of the water supply line hoses. Check for any kind of debris, obstruction, maybe the inlet itself is a little bit clogged, check the nozzles themselves to see if there's any debris or build up there, reconnect everything, and test again. If any of the electronic functions of the bidet seem to be malfunctioning, a basic reset on the unit is simply unplugging it, leaving it unplugged for maybe 10 to 15 seconds or so, plugging it back in and testing it out again. 
Should the seat or lid of your BB-600 become cracked at any point, please give us a call as we can easily ship out these parts to customers to have them replaced. Well, that right there wraps up this week's Tell Me About on our BB-600, our electric unit with side panel. If you have any other further questions, you can always give us a call, hit us up on live chat, or reach me on social media. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next Tell Me About. Thanks. Bye-bye.